Ah! My name is Bobby. I do music, and today we are checking out the Synergy B-Man module for the Synergy amp system. If you don't know what Synergy is, it is a modular tube preamp and amp system that you can kind of piece together your own amp or add channels to your existing amp. They've got a desktop amp top module that can, uh, rather, housing that can take one module. I've got the rack mount one that can take two. They've also got combos and heads, and they do cabs and a power amp as well. So, before we dive into this thing, let's talk about the signal chain so you know what we're playing through. This is my Ibanez S320, great names. Ibanez, thank you so much. Uh, I've got DiMarzio deactivators in here. They're very high output, very open humbuckers. I can flip them into single coil mode, so we can check out that as well. This is a great module for both of those. We're going out of the guitar into my pedal board, all bypass, except I do have a Strymon Flint adding a little bit of spring reverb on there. As I said in the T Deluxe video, I really think the Fender modules benefit from a little bit of spring reverb. Out of the uh, pedal board, otherwise, goes into the Sin 2 with the B-Man in it. That goes into my Two Notes Torpedo Live, which has the same Mesa 4x12 with a 57 and 121 on it that I use in all of my videos for the Synergy stuff, and that goes out to your ear holes. So, the B-Man, as I understand it, is based on sort of a Fender Bassman circuit. I don't know if they can say that. I think I can say that, because uh, nobody's paying me. <laughs> uh, but it's it's very classic rock and roll, for sure. Uh, old school rock and roll. Uh, for me personally, in my studio, it sits... Some, and this makes sense if you know the history of Fender and Marshall amplifiers. It sits somewhere between a, a, a higher headroom, like a Fender Deluxe, that can still kind of do that splatty Fender breakup thing, and then something more classic Marshall, like a JTM 45. It sits somewhere in between there, which makes sense to me. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Uh, just like the T Deluxe in the previous video, I'll put that up here somewhere if you want to check it out. We've got two independent channels with two different sounds. We've got gain, bass, middle, treble, and volume on each channel, as well as the bright and tight switches, as I'm calling them, the B and T, which adds uh, brightness and uh, actually takes away tightness. It adds more bottom end. So that's what we're dealing with. We're going to start with the teal channel, blue, green, whatever it is, and uh, let's go from there. So everything at noon, gain just shy of noon, uh, we have this on a bridge humbucker. <laughs> And if I go to a neck uh, single coil, you can get kind of that fuzzy, is it clean, is it dirty? It's somewhere in the middle there. <laughs> As you hammer on it, it starts to break up. But that's the game just shy of halfway. This is a very versatile module. I'm going to go back to the uh, neck pickup in single coil mode and bring the game back to about 9 o'clock. Should do it. gets plenty clean. Uh, while we're here, that's the flint. Let's take the flint out just so you can hear what it's adding. Bone dry. Add the flint back in. probably the worst bend I've ever done, but whatever. So, whoops, let's leave the flint in, but like I said, everything else is bypassed. So let's wind the gain up. I'm gonna go back to the bridge humbucker here, and let's bring the gain up.
Being a Fender, it loves single coils too. <laughs> loves that so let's keep winding the gain up Plenty of crunch on tap for sure. I tend to like the bottom channel between like noon and three o'clock. If I want a cleaner thing, yeah, back it off. But this is definitely more old school rock and roll, like 60s, 70s sort of stuff. Like get back down here and you just get a little. Love it for that stuff. We've got the bright and tight switches, which again, add brightness and add bottom. So let's do the tight and, or bright rather. <coughs> Pardon me. These switches, especially the bright one, is a lot more obvious with the gain back a little bit. The higher the gain, the less obvious a bright switch tends to be uh, audible. No shortage of brightness on, on these, these modules, man. I love a good bright switch too. So I'm gonna leave it down. Add some nice chime without being overbearing. And then uh, the tight switch adds bottom end. So I don't think I mentioned it. Uh, there are three position, center is neutral, a little bit more and a little bit more than that. Up positions on both of these switches really give sort of, oh, you wanted more. Okay, here you go. Uh, I tend to like them either center or down just for a little bit of extra. Gah. Let's wind through the EQ and see what that sounds like. It's kind of jangly when you scoop the mids out. It's kind of nice. I tend to run the mids up though. actually a very smooth treble. It gets a little pokey in the upper end there, but 
Otherwise, it's it's super gentle, super nice. <laughs> So yeah, that's the bottom channel. Uh, let's go to the top channel, which is going to have gobs more gain. Check it out. Let's put the gains about the same there. Definitely hot rotted basement sort of thing, because we're only at halfway. We have way more. We also have way less. Back and back off, and again, we'll touch on the bright and tight switches. All the way up tends to get a little scratchy with the gain. Uh, of course, you can compensate with the treble. I tend to like it down though. And then same thing on the T-switch, the tight, the bottom, the... might pick a fight with your bass player if you have it in the up position, but I'm going to leave it down. the mids and run the gain up it almost sounds like a fuzz pedal it almost sounds like a big big muff <laughs> get it back up here I can play guitar, I promise. Gets nice and bratty and ratty up up with the treble ran up for sure. I really like this. It's got 
this weird, almost, not weird, but like this classic almost fuzz thing, like where a Marshall is really leaned out in the bottom and really kind of focus this is more broad and it just gives a different texture uh for for crunch and, and rock sort of stuff <laughs> so yeah that's the synergy b man 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 Anyway, I hope you liked it. Uh, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope I'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Hubba bye. <laughs>